Truthfully, I have absolutely no idea what I've just walked into. I met Peter, I see a lot of cool toys sitting out, and I just decided we'll stop and say hello, and I'll let him explain it on camera. So Peter, this all looks very, very cool. I have no idea what any of it is. Awesome, so this is um, the Kenoma line of Internet of Things prototyping products, okay? okay? And so what we've done is taken kind of Marvell Semiconductor Silicon, which is our parent company, mm -hmm. and brought it out for students and makers and hobbyists so they can explore hardware and software together. So our original product is Kenoma Create. This is mm -hmm. a mobile device, you can see it's actually battery, legitimately battery powered. Mm -hmm. um, of course, running Linux inside. And it's got a Wi-Fi chip and a touch screen and a battery. So you can take this on the road, you can throw it in your backpack, and you can connect all kinds of different sensors. So here we turned it into an Etch-a-Sketch, okay. uh, for example. And so it's got an accelerometer, and a button and a, and a uh, potentiometer. Sure. Um, here we turned it into a motion sensor. It's got this hoverboard that will detect my gestures as I move over it. And so all the, the cool thing about these is that it's all programmed in JavaScript. Okay. And so, yeah, you, I mean, you can dive down and program like a traditional Linux model, but you can, um, you can also do it all in script. Mm -hmm. And then um, the second product we have is Kenoma HD, which is hiding over here next to the TV. Okay. And this is like a, an HDMI stick that plugs into any display kind of like a Google Chromecast. Okay. And um, again, lets you script anything you want to put on the TV. You know, we all have a display in our house that has an extra HDMI port yeah, yeah. or two, right? That's right. And wouldn't it be cool if we could control what's on that, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're just talking from that TV to all these devices over WebSockets, and they're pouring data in, and it's, it's visualizing it there on the screen. So this is very this is very conceptual. Then this is this is there isn't a prescribed way to use this stuff. There isn't a prescribed thing to do with this stuff. Yeah. It is the technology exists. Go forth, do something interesting with it. You know exactly. We are providing the hardware tools and the software tools for people to make the things that they're interested in. You know, a lot of people are, are getting started with Arduino, which is an awesome yeah. way to do to learn about hardware. But they quickly you know get frustrated with 16 megahertz of power and 2K of RAM. Yeah. It's amazing what they achieve, but it's yeah. it's it's a challenge. Yeah. You know, this device is 800 megahertz with, you know, 128 megs. Mm -hmm. This one's dual core 1.2 gigahertz. You can do a lot. Yeah. And so, you can, and you can use your exact same sensors that you used with Arduino. You can just drop them in. So it's, it's, you know, it's a path where you can get kind of more into kind of the real commercial world of what people are using. And our, our comp parent company, Marvell's customers, are using these exact same chips in real world, world products. Sure. So you could. So a person that maybe wanted to get into embedded computing devices, maybe could start on something like this mm -hmm. before they graduate to the quote unquote big boys toys. Well, I think this is the. I think this yeah. is the real toys, okay. and and I think this is really. You know, we have people who are taking this. This particular chip is our smallest one, and they're mm -hmm. taking this and making uh, Apple HomeKit enabled products <laughs> out of it. For example, right? That's awesome. And so, I mean, these are real, real production code, real production uh, hardware, uh -huh. and the other really great thing is we're using JavaScript everywhere, and. And we've made a big investment to get it to run across all these. Uh -huh. And we're way out in front. We're actually using uh, ES6, the sixth edition of the JavaScript language, which was just formalized last, last month. Okay. And so we're one of the first places you can actually use ES6 on real hardware um, and not just kind of like in a simulator in a browser somewhere. Yeah. And so um, you're really, you know, with Arduino, you're a little bit behind the times. It's kind of old. I mean, it's, again, awesome, but it's kind of an older technology. We're really on the bleeding edge of kind of the latest technology here. Sure. Now, what are these? What are these little book things here? These are the best giveaways we ever had at the show. These okay. are uh, these are pure sticky notes. Okay. All right. So when you have ideas, as every engineer does, yes, you can scribble them down and stick them on your wall. Okay, well, I'll take one of those if you don't mind. Absolutely. I thought maybe there was some sort of electronic in there. I wish. We yeah. Next next generation. Okay. All right. That's that's a 1.0. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, or someplace you'd like to send people if they wanted more information about the project? If you uh, check out Kenoma.com, there's uh, all kinds of great references, and uh, our open source code is on GitHub. So you can just go to GitHub.com/Kenoma and check it out there as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Good talking with you. Thank you.